Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, Maya Forbes. Congratulations on this wonderful film. You grew up in this. This is your life. It's my, yes, it is. It's my life. It's my life condensed, squeezed down, and uh, you know, getting to the essentials. Yeah, I got rid of all the other stuff. <laughs> it's fascinating because you've got one of the best actors in the business today. Mark is playing your father, a manic depressive father who is figuring himself out in the world. Talk to me about putting your life story to film. Well, it was it was um, I, when I wrote the script, I really wasn't thinking about any anybody in particular because I was just trying to really focus on the real people. Um, and then I sent out. Then I finished the script. I went to Mark. Mark read it. He really responded. And the second I sat down with him, I just thought, this is the person that I want to do this with because not only is he a brilliant actor, I could see that he understood. He had the humanity and he. He understood all the things that this character goes through and that he would also be a wonderful collaborator, which he was. I mean, he was an amazing person to make your first movie with. One of the things I love is we see a slice of Americana, a slice of family, during a time when mental disease and mental disorder wasn't as readily diagnosed as it is right now. Talk to me about going back to that time and seeing it all over again. What, what was going through your mind? Was it like therapeutic? Was it like, wow, this is so different than what I remember? What was it all like? I think I really just wanted to make a movie about a family because of what families go through. I don't think my, my, my I was so ashamed of my family growing up, but as I've gotten older, I realized we weren't as unusual as I thought. There are so many unconventional families and people, families figuring out unusual ways to make it work. And so I kind of just wanted to write this movie because it made me sort of feel connected to everybody else. And I was hoping that when people saw it, they would feel connected to other people and to their own memories and their childhoods.